marvellous. And now we're going to uh, paint the woods with the, with the wonderful Irish tones of Mr. Donald Dempsey. Uh, this is, I don't know how your Middle English is, but this is called How It Scale It Singing, Sing Me Front Shaft, which uh, if you know the story of Cadman, Cadman goes to the banquet and he goes home, he can't sing any songs, everybody's got to sing a song. And the angel appears to him and the angel, and he says to the angel, what shall I sing? And the angel says, sing me creation. That's very nice. um, I had just recently got paralyzed. Uh, my life had begun to unravel. I was in a terrible degree of pain. Uh, it looked like the season of love had gone away from me. Uh, and I wrote this poem, watching my friends fall in love. And I watched this young lady fall in love with this hopeless guy who was not worth pissing upon. And I thought, wow, all that expenditure of love going into a black hole. I didn't realize also that it was a spell poem and that it would uh, conjure Jan up for me. So it's called, How it scale ich singen, sing me from shaft. And she sang to him and she sang of him. She sang of the love she had created for them. She used birds for words in the rain that had fallen. She used flowers and tears and interwove them. She used sighs and hours and the loneliness within them. She used moonlight and pain and what remained when she was far from him. She sang of a love that had dreamed of being and hadn't yet awoken. She sang of herself and called to him, called to him. And she sang of him and she sang to him. She sang of the love that belonged to them. She sealed it with tears and the fears of our heart breaking. She sang him creation. Thank you. Mm -hmm. uh, a friend of mine had a baby and um, she was telling me what it was like. I just had to imagine it but it was a very good description of what it was like having a baby. So you can imagine me as a not being male. That might help. It's called Thank You For Having Me. It was the most real reality that could ever be. I felt for the first time that I was really me. The pain ran screaming through me, almost tore me apart, love streaming through my heart. The head crowned and with a strangulated plop, you popped out. The oldest, oddest, youngest looking creature I had ever seen, as if angry at being born, looking upon me as if to say, what the fuck? And I loved you so much. <laughs> Uh, doesn't always go right. Uh, I had just moved to Camden and um, I was very ill as I said and I needed badly to get a doctor and the doctor right beside me was done by boundaries and if I took one step I was outside the boundary and couldn't go to the doctor and then I learned crazy things that uh, half is up a tower block and uh, NW6 becomes NW8. I thought, Woo! how crazy is that? So this is called, love is a bit like that. Loving you was trying to get, was like trying to get a doctor's in Camden. One minute I'd be your NW8, only to be told you only take NW6. Or I'd be told, well, yes, dear, that is the boundary, to, but the boundaries have changed. Or we have our own boundaries that pay no attention to the actual boundaries. Right. And all this in the blink of a traffic light or a road aptly, mockingly named Boundary Road. I just have to hope I wouldn't die of a broken heart or get run over by a two-ton truck bearing the logo, danger, love, heavy load. I was like a chicken crossing the road to get to whatever next. You changed your mind as easily as you changed your dress and became somebody else. Invisible boundaries existed all over the place. Even the top of a tower block was a different postal district changing suddenly in midair, just like you with the toss of your hair. Loving you was like trying to get an education, like the time I lived in Mountview Road and the boundaries of each council ran down the middle of my living room. So if I choose to wash up the dirty dishes in my sink, I was in Hackney. Took a step to turn up my favorite song, suddenly I was in Islington. Many rivers to cross. Both councils fought over who wouldn't send me to university. <laughs> Loving you was a bit like that, but I'm glad to get my heart back. Not exactly intact, 
of my own for all that. Right, uh, as I said, I just moved to Camden and uh, I was greeted by my first day in Camden by a questionnaire, a very detailed questionnaire coming through the door. And I was writing all these very sad uh, anti love poems. And this is called Mistress of All She Surveys. It actually takes all the particulars from the questionnaire, uh, the questions and the changes. Mistress of All She Surveys, you approach me as if I or a questionnaire, a box to tick to indicate your preference, something to be filled in and dispatched, done with. I was such a dimwit. I love you. One, to what extent, if at all, do you feel this is a problem? Please tick one box only. A very big problem, a fairly big problem, not a very big problem, not a problem at all. Don't know. <laughs> you had ticked a very big problem. Two, you would like to make love stroke be made love too. Please take as many boxes as apply. Morning, afternoon, evening, 6 to 11 p.m., at night, after 11 p.m., all the time, not relevant, have no experience. You would take all the boxes except the last one. Three, in a relationship people should relate Strongly support, tend to support, neither support or oppose, tend to oppose, strongly oppose, don't know, you are ticked, don't know. Four, you would like to have your cake, cake and eat it too. Strongly agree, tend to agree, neither agree or disagree, tend to agree, strongly disagree, don't know, you are ticked, strongly agree. Thank you for taking the time to complete this survey. Your answers will be treated in the strictest confidence. There is no need to send a stamp. <laughs>